So how do you pick a research topic? First, I want you to pick a topic that you're interested in so that, because it's something you're gonna be stuck with all semester, right? I want it to be something you like reading about, but also something that you feel you can approach objectively. If it's something you already have strong beliefs about, it may be difficult for you to try to disprove your own hypothesis about it, and your bias can actually affect your research. It's something you need to be interested in, but not something you already have a super duper strong opinion about, or if you do, you need to be willing to accept that your opinion might change, so be willing to try and destroy your hypothesis. It's a hard thing to want to do. You should also start broadly with a single topic or word. When I first started trying to pick a master's thesis topic, I talked to my advisor and I said, I know I'm interested in emotions, which is broadly what we studied in that lab, what my PhD advisor studied. So that was good. Still under that big umbrella. And I said, I'm also interested in how they can affect your like reasoning, um, like your ability to think logically and stuff. I said, like I was doing some reading that showed that sadness might make you better at reasoning, but some studies showed it might make it worse. So there's some controversy there. And I'm also interested in figuring that out. And so that was a very broad topic. Some examples you could use are things like aggression or religiosity or attachment or benefits of having a pet or what meditation does for you, whatever you're interested in. Don't start with a hypothesis. We're just going to start with big ideas and then funnel them into a hypothesis. Next, think about some kind of variation on that topic. So if your big umbrella idea is aggression, think about are there situations or like personality traits or other qualities that might influence aggression? Is there some way that aggression could be changed or some way to explain why it's different between people, etc.? So when I was interested in logic and and I was interested in how do your emotions affect your logic. I kind of started with emotions though. I'm like, I'm interested in emotions, but what about them? So in this step two is where I narrowed it down and said, I'm interested in how emotions are related to logical reasoning. Or if you're interested in pet ownership, think about, you know, predictor variables to help predict who owns what type of pet or are there dependent outcomes, dependent variables like mental health benefits of having a pet? Does the type of pet matter? These are different ways you could vary one or more of your variables to come up with more of a question. Something else you need to think about is come up with synonyms of the words that you're looking for. So your initial thoughts of search terms may not lead you to what you're looking for. You may need to refine them. So make a list of the types of search terms you're going to use and what types of results they lead you to. If you're interested in the relationship between meditation and helping behavior, for example, like I am in some current studies I'm working on, I need to think about synonyms for some of these words. So for meditation, they might also use mindfulness in the research. There's also loving kindness meditation that might pop up. Contemplative practices is another broad term that includes things like meditation and prayer and philosophy. So I may want to include that as a search term as well. My outcome, helping behavior could be called helping, but it could also be called things like altruism, pro-social behavior, pro-sociality, service, there are a lot of different ways of rewording things, and I might try searching different ones and keeping track of which ones I've searched to see what they tend to call it in the scientific papers on that topic. 